All right, what's up, guys? We are back for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. The first things first, of course, the first order of business is essentially welcome to 2023. It's the new year. Alex is starting a small account challenge. What he's doing this year, guys, super fun. We're going to talk about this, what Alex is doing to prove to you guys how much our strategies work in any current environment, especially the new year. What better way to start a small, a small ish? Smallish account challenge, guys. This is not for marketing or anything. Alex wants to show you the benefits and the potential at MIC. So he's starting with a 35K account and he's going to see if he can take it up to a million dollars. That exact account, no wires, no nothing. Just take it up to a million dollars by the end of the year. So let's get into this. I guess, really quick, guys, I'll bring this back up and just talk about this for a second. If you have any questions about MIC, all you have to do is text 213 458 5997. This is my direct line. Or you can book a call on the website, which I'll show you in a little bit. All right, so obviously Monday was off, so we could throw that to the wayside. We are on Tuesday the 3rd, and this was the watch list, even though Alex didn't trade much on Tuesday. But let's see what the members did as Alex crushed it the last three days. So he's already killing it on the small account challenge, and it's not that. It's a medium account challenge. Here's the thing. Irvin using outer lines on CMMB. I love this, guys. Where did the stock fail before? That's where we want to hit it, especially if you're into zombie hour, guys. You're coming up any part in the you know the middle of the day or you know just not the immediate morning where we have the most edge short you want to wait for the outermost lines which obviously that is where did the stock fail before boomerang right back to these levels a long journey back up to a resistance uh david as much as he would say i'm sure that he probably thinks he piked this a little bit i'm proud of this again it's good entries and that's what we're looking for so stocks way under vwap hits vwap get that flush pay yourself on cala short i think that's really well done and it fits within the parameters of the quote-unquote million dollar setup that we always talk about atnf hooper x is the king of outer lines he waited for this launch to happen kind of tire out this parabolic paid himself immediately awesome job with process hooper again if we come in and see li what, what I love that he did on this, guys, is this is downtrending. It's lower high, lower high, lower high. He waits for the push up, pays himself immediately, and he's not looking for much more after that. So, again, this is a nail and bail community. Alex was describing that although I did not trade RSLS on Tuesday, I still want to I still want to learn from it, and you guys should too. The stuff in the high a day right there, Alex is always talking about volume with the stuff. You can see that big old wick. The stuff in a high a day on volume, guys, and rejection was the first signal the trend may be changing. We talk about stuff candles, big stuffs with volume. We talk about death candles midday. All of those things could be a total what's called change in sentiment, which this tend to be. It was. It, it absolutely was. So then the confirmation was the break under VWAP with no reclaim. That is the game over. And then you get this bleed. So awesome job on RSLS just seeing that and deciphering how we can always have an edge whether you trade it or not how do we have an edge as traders we're always looking for an edge um irresponsibly long i remember when this girl was a part of mic like four years ago guys and she wasn't pulling numbers like this regularly and now she is so i'm so proud of her that's awesome 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 i think the last time i saw her was in san jose it's been so long but she's crushing she's crushing and then wolf making 169 i love it uh, awesome, awesome job. So let's go into, let's go into Wednesday. Got a lot of action for the next three days. So this is Alex's watch list. Uh, I'll just kind of read out what he made. This was the first day he traded guys on the 35 K account challenge, uh, trying to get it to a million dollars by the end of the year. If not knowing Alex, it'll probably be three or 4 million depending on market action, but let's see. $11,000, nice start to the year with a small account. Used about 13,000 shares on Vivas. Started off small, then added to a winner. Nice nice scalps on JSPR and MSGM this morning as well. So let's take a look, guys. Uh, obviously, the first one I have is JSPR. Um, and then I also, I'm going to try to make enough room to where I can show you the watch list as well. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot to cover. So we're going to the fourth which obviously if you follow along right here guys you can see the date so one three it's the day two right here so what we are looking for specifically is the watch list first so every single day we curate a watch list and alex was saying it's broken now but would love a bounce in the morning the 14 15 16 to scale in short wide range so you have to use less size and guys that's exactly 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 what happened so i gave a whole webinar on this you know if you missed this you know i think it was like a pr thing if you 
missed this during pre-market. Don't get bulldozed if this kept going and got the momentum. But now that that got sold off so unbelievably quick, this just goes to show how many bag holders are truly stuck in this and just one out even. So when this happens, guys, this any push being way under VWAP coming the open, the million dollar setup, and with all this stuck volume and all this stuck demand from the day before, guys, it was a no brainer. This push in the morning was an absolute smoke show for uh, getting some decent size on and covering, and that's exactly what Alex did on JSPR. Wonderful job. So MSGM, not much to say about this on the fourth. Um, it was really just kind of like a pump, you know, red to green pump. You know, got got his money seven sixty. Not much to say on this. So we will. Uh, We'll just kind of leave that one at that. And Vivas was the big winner. So let's take a look at what Alex was doing. He was using a little bit more size. It wasn't on the watch list as it became a little bit more about the live commentary during the day. But what Alex was doing is come the open, he was he was ready to hit this. So, you know, here's 1-4. You know, this is, this is the day that it happened. It, I'm sure that Alex didn't expect for it to continue on for right here after this stuff that he was looking at. And so I know that because this didn't have a crap ton of range, Alex was willing to throw the hammer at this. So when we got this stall up here near three, you know, hole and half dollar kind of fail. It doesn't even really hit it. Kind of stuffs right here and kind of bases. I knew that Alex was willing to work his way out of a position on this earlier entry. I just know that he was feeling it. And then once we got this tank and then waited for a really good entry to kind of really size in and waited for, you know, these, these covers way later in the day, guys, I mean, it, it, as much as, as much as I would say Alex was 100% in the driver's seat, I know he was at least 95% on this one, and he absolutely crushed it. I'm sure he just didn't expect for this to reclaim as much, but he he held his composure. He freaking added perfectly. He scaled in. He waited, had a great, great final entries here, or final size, rather, and just hammered this thing, and, and it was a wonderful trade. So let's see what the members were doing. couple members. Then we'll go into Thursday. Real quick, Ryan Conley, I love it. We are not just a uh, we are not just a um, small cap short selling community, guys. So while we do short sell a lot, a lot of our members are using the niches and the notches to capture these bounces. And great job, Ryan. Love this on RSLS. Vindy Bo doing a really really good job. I just love following trend down. It's the way to go. Same with E. I love this. You get a stock way under VWAP. It pops up. These are the outer lines. Uh, I'll go to this one last. Vivas long again, Ryan Conley. It's awesome. It's just another way to show these longs. Uh, okay, guys, I want to show this real quick because Alex actually did. How do I zoom in? Alex actually did a little bit of a. Um, oh, he gave his thought process on this. That's what I wanted to say. So starter position after it topped out was right here. Exactly what I said. And then it was too slow to stop out because it kept going. But here's what happened. You get a double top and no break. And exactly what I said, the whole and a half dollar number three. I didn't even read this until right now. That's the funny part. That's how much when you know process, guys, we all think the exact same way. So the way I'm commentating this, I literally didn't read this yet. And that's the funniest part is once you know, you just know. And that's exactly what I said right here is once he kind of saw these, you know, not being able to make three, he saw some, you know, volume exhaustion candles, exactly what Alex is always looking for. It's always a potential top. And then when you actually have have double tops then you know it's basing it's consolidating and it's probably going to break down if it's already overextended massively and it doesn't reach that whole and half dollar number so then we go here adding more than a starter when the top is set and the trade thesis is confirmed in my direction he was using though a stop at three dollars he got exactly what he wanted just a beautiful beautiful trade and then soy sauce i have to zoom in on this but he murdered this. He murdered it. So he did a wonderful job. Uh, just, just really good. Just really good. You guys are, the members are crushing, man. The members are getting it. Judge a community on the members success. Uh, this is actually kind of funny guys. Think about this. This is a win in itself. Even though it's a loss of $26, Alex lost $26 yesterday, but He's coming off a $11,000 Wednesday. So you guys have to see, like, Alex is not here to push when it's not there. And he is here to push when it is there. And that's the beauty of all of this. So if we look at this, annoying day, took a pre-market trade on BLPH, which I stopped out as soon as it broke high a day, waited for the exhaust in the morning and scaled into a winner. Ended up getting stopped out in the afternoon, VWAP test, and gave back some profits, being a little too patient had I avoided pre-market it would have been a green day. So we'll do that tomorrow. And he absolutely did. But let's get into this, guys. So um, obviously, we're on Thursday. This was the watch list. Let's go to BLPH first. 
uh, trying to find some room for you guys. <laughs> I definitely want to bring up some lessons, but there's so much to bring up on here. So obviously, guys, we're on the 5th, uh, which is this day right here. This was the first day that it ran, and this was BLPH. So again, hot chick in the morning, but at 8, 8.43 a.m. Eastern, I had a stuff candle. I started in pre-market short and planned on adding in the morning, and these were the levels that he planned on adding. Obviously, Alex said that he stopped out, so that's what he was talking about. But later, guys, later, he did. I love this. I just absolutely love this. He had his composure. You get this opening death candle in the morning. What do I always love? The, if the opening candle is a death candle, guys, follow that trend down every single time. And that's what Alex did. So awesome. Awesome hold too. Really a lot of patience. Um, just like his V boss, you know, the day before. So just really, really good patience on that. ABBC. Let's take a quick look. The thing I love about this guys, and I'm actually just going to, I don't even need to pull this up. The thing that I want you to see here is look at this. What do I always talk about all the time? Let me expand upon this. I actually just want to pull it up here. There's only one thing to say. Buy the open if a stock is way under VWAP and then it does a pop shot up to VWAP on the open. In It's going to stuff. It's going to hit that. And it's going to have a really hard time. So I love this. There's not much more to say other than being the, you know, the million dollar setup. Me and Joe kind of coined that term, but it, it's because it works. So it's just super cool. Let's see what the members are doing on Thursday. Let me pull this up for you real quick. Alice gave a really good description of this, guys. So check this out. The front side of the move until a big rejection candle on heavy volume. This is what Alex is always talking about. Same signal as VVOS yesterday. Can then short the bounce with a short with a stop at high of day. And that's always the key. So always waiting for the tops, guys. Always just wait. Be patient for your entry and the perfect discipline to have an edge. A top or bottom is usually signaled by heavy volume. This is why Alex was kind of outlining that. So I kind of wanted to expand upon that and just show you guys real quick because that's a really good lesson. Now, Rockmon doing a wonderful job at waiting for the top, hitting it. Unbelievable. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Highlander, Highlander doing exactly what it should be doing on VYNT. Low hanging fruit, you know, by the by by the open, even if it's not a day two, it's just low hanging, guys. So it's again that pop shot to VWAP is the money maker. So, you know, obviously a low hanging fruit is usually categorized as day two, but on day one, if it's broken enough, it's 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 easy pickings. Um, awesome job on BLPH, you know, waiting for that opening death candle and then hitting those, uh, just following down the trend, David, great freaking job. That is a newbie short. And I'm going to tell you right now, he did it wonderfully. Um, V Y N T long on bomb bomb. Here's the thing, guys, that's a great cut and, and he knows it. So going back to the chart, you can see that. And look, when you do lose, you better lose small. And that's the key. Um, Highlander on V Y N T doing a wonderful job about following trend down wonderful wonderful job i'm gonna really pat you guys on the back when you deserve it as that's some really good trading right there so we're coming into today guys the market is totally heating up there's a couple things i want to read alex made 2.4k today solid trading day nailing everything except hkd key today was to ignore pre-market as always if you ask me <laughs> trading and focus on the open when the trends were easier Walking away early on this Friday to enjoy my day. 2500 bucks, guys. It's It can really be as simple as that. Up about 13 k this week on the small 35 k account challenge. Guys, think about that. Are you kidding me? About... 48 grand already and uh and we have we're in the first week of january of the new year so i can only imagine what alex is going to accomplish with this he's a rock star so i mmx guys let me let me pull it up for you and then we'll bring that up i mmx one second all right i probably gave a webinar on this so there's previous lines let me remove these for you one sec all right, so let's zoom in here, guys. Uh, IMMX looking to short a morning pop towards 260, 280, and 3 in the morning. So I'm trying to find as much room as I can give you guys here. Uh, but Alex did a wonderful job at that, as you guys can see. Hitting it, following trend down, it's as simple as that. When something tops out, guys, or it's just super, super weak, you have a go ahead. You have a green light to be a short seller, but you always got to know your risk no matter what you're hitting. So Alex did a really good job on CMTX guys. So let's read his watch list of what he was saying. Two potential trades on this, either a pop and rejection of pre-market highs to short or tank at the open and bounce to VWAP short. That's exactly what he did. You know, it tanks, it tanks in the morning, but it pops the VWAP. He captures the VWAP pop and he's already paying himself come the open guys. So it, it just can't get any more clear than that. Following trend down on a broken stock is the way to go. Now let's pull up AMTD for one second. Uh, AMTD. 
And what we have, it's kind of, it's such a, like, it's like waves. It's kind of funny looking today, but let's, let's read about this. So, um, if it's not on the watch list, guys, remember there's a lot of commentary during the day in the live, in the live chat, but here's what he was, here's what Alex was basically doing. And, and I love this because this is exact process. This thing is totally broken. It's the million dollar setup coming to the open. It's way under VWAP. We get that pop towards VWAP. Guys, that's the million dollar setup right there. VWAP is the outer line. So I don't want to harp too much on that as I give lessons on that every single week. But that's that's the strategy. All right, SP, where are we at? SPRB. We are coming in. It ran from yesterday after hours, and then it's in pre-market today. It actually launches pre-market and come the open. We get that opening step stuff, death candle, and Alex followed it right down. So that's about as sexy as it gets, guys. Um, there's not much more to it. I, it. It's just absolutely beautiful. That's like, that's like the Mona Lisa right there. Those opening death candles, those opening stuffs are everything. And then the members today, let's see what they were doing. Highlander on CTMX. Awesome, awesome job following trend down, waiting, waiting for your pops. Really key. David on ATNF, same. Just red to green line. Awesome, awesome job. Nail and bail. Uh, let's see. BV, BVXV. I don't know why that's kind of a tongue twister for me on E. D awesome, awesome job, guys. That that bounce back towards VWAP is going to be the outer line. Come the open. Nail and bail it. And this is how you have a trading career. Hooper X, ATNF. Awesome job. He's so good at us using outer lines, guys. He just... He really is mastering outer lines every single week more and more or doing the subsequent thing. The one before was outer lines. This is wait for that drop, wait for that tank, wait for a death candle, wait for just a massive implosion and then hit the pop and nail and bell. Welcome to process. And then Wolf killing it with another $205. I love to see it. You guys are padding the wallets, you're padding process and you're just getting better with time. So if I go to our Slack chat, guys, I just want to show you this really quick. This is... Um, currently right now live, you know, t tonight, uh, Friday, well, obviously this is pre-recorded, but what I'm showing you guys is all of our options within Slack. So this is after hours going on right now, my time live at least, but every single day, guys, we have a watch list. So within that watch list, every single morning, we are identifying the levels, the lines, why they're appropriate, why they're important, why you have an edge. We take it to the main trading chat. And what we have now is a full walk down of strategy, of process, of edge, real time warnings, everything, networking, literally everything you can think of. Tom Diesel on SPRD. Why? You know, there's his chart. There's his fills. He's going to talk about it. He's going to show you large cap and options. Exact same thing. So if this is small caps, this is options. This is large caps. It's just a different, um, different way to skin a cat. After Hours is all about networking, guys. The guys are, uh, this is what they look like right now, but this is actually old from Utah. But Steven and Bao, I think they're in Vegas right now, enjoying the, you know, enjoying the night, and uh, they're actually having a really good time live. So that, that looks like it is tonight, but that's actually a different time. Hysterical. And Joe was uh, kind of complaining how uh, he, uh, the last time he drank in Deathline, quote-unquote Deathline, one of our setups, on alcohol was in Philly, and he learned his lesson, so he doesn't drink with Bao anymore. <laughs> so you guys can just see, this is a really fun community. So... Last thing, last thing, I want to go to our website real quick, guys. I'm going to show you some cool stuff. All right, guys, just skip the video really quick for you because signing in and logging into our website takes a little bit of a process, a couple minutes. But now that we are on the website and I'm logged in, I want to show you a couple features. So the first things first is the video library. So uh, I'm going to allow access right now because I just signed in. So if we go to the video library, guys, there's something I really want you to pay attention to. We have a full roadmap of content everywhere from a search feature to roadmap of content right down here to a, literally a linear guide to get successful. And then Alex's live trade series right here, which is awesome. So Alex will literally record a, a trade live. And then months later, you'll get it after a couple weeks to a month, depending on the time frame. But we send it to our editing team. They send it to music. We have Alex audio commentary on it, what he was thinking at the time. Obviously, it's a live trade, guys. But we a lot goes into making these on the editing side and the editing bay that, you know, why did I use this size? Why? What, what was I thinking when I got in this? Alex then does that right after with audio commentary. And it's really cool. And that's exclusive for lifetime members. And then the couple things right here, guys, my number is 213-458-5997, but you can also book a free mentorship call and get your questions answered anywhere on the site, any page, just click that link. And then two, two more things. 
watch the one hour free training. You're going to get a one hour free training and you can see Alex's broker statements of like 7.5 million over the last three years. Meet the whole team guys. It's not about us, the three creators. It's about everybody at MIC. So you guys can just see what this community looks like and how benevolent it is and, and just endless resources. So, you know, I don't need to bust out the calculator for this, but, um, Alex nearly 13,000, like $400 guys unbelievable for the week it's the first week of 2023 if that doesn't motivate you for what's possible i dude i don't know what will honestly like i'm not saying you sign up for mic and you're gonna make thirteen thousand dollars a week but i am showing you what the possibility is of alex doing it himself in his own results so guys you will get there you will be an alex you will be a monster but i'm telling you you don't have to be there immediately most people don't realize that an extra 200 dollars a month will supplement their income can change their lives Guys, like a steak dinner every single night if you get an extra $200. So again, figure out what you're going to do with that money, but this should motivate you to see the level of potential that is in this industry. So guys, if you haven't already, book a call with me, text my line. You won't regret it. I will literally give you a free mentorship tra trading call, and we will also iron out if you have confidence in joining MIC and what you can personally get out of it. So give me a text or book a call, and guys, I will see you next week.